What do you think you're doing, huh? Man, let go of me. Come on, I didn't do nothing wrong. You worked on this mural, didn't you? Yeah, I was just trying to fix it. Oh, you had nothing to do with what happened here tonight? Man, I've been working on this thing since the beginning. Why would I try and trash it? I don't know. Maybe your friends didn't like that you were working on it. Were you trying to impress them, huh? Trash it? No way. Look, man, I painted all this here. I almost got this corner here back to what it was. You're good. You know who did it, though, don't you? Me? Yeah, Come you. Come on, Father. Look, I'm not a priest anymore, and you don't go to church anymore, do you? I remember you from St. Bart's. You stopped going there about the same time you put this on your arm. Let go! Huh? That your gang did this to the mural tonight, didn't they? Yeah, I don't know nothing. Huh? You don't know nothing, huh? Your friends ruined everything you've been working on, and they put the principal of this school in the hospital. Mrs. Asher? Yeah! She's gonna be all right. We don't know. Somebody hit her over the head with a blunt object. Real brave bunch of guys you're hanging out with, huh? It takes a lot of guts to spray paint on a wall and sneak up behind a lady and bash her brains in. Hey, look, I don't hang out with those homeboys, yeah, man. Yeah, I told real you brave. Oh, yeah, you told me a lot of things. Why don't you try telling me the truth? Okay. Look, maybe I do hang out with them some, huh? Look, I wear the colors, but I don't do anything like this, man, ever. Uh, why'd you join the gang? Because I didn't feel like getting drilled every other day, man. A guy like me at this school, if he's not in a gang, he's dead me. Well, maybe we should try changing that. And we can start by putting the guy who hit her over the head in jail. I want a name. I already told you. I don't. You know, know who is here and you know who would be capable of doing something like that. Man, if I sing, I might as well pack up right now and leave. You know the DA's gonna put your whole gang in jail and you're gonna be in there with the rest of them. You can't do that. Yeah, well, you just watch him. Now give me a name. I can't, man. I don't think that you're a bad kid. I think you've got talent. I think you've got a future. But I can, if I get you immunity, Will you give me that name? If I get it, and no one else does, how's that gonna look, man? You might as well hang a neon sign around my neck flashing rat. But how about this, man? All or nothing. I give you the name of the guy who hit Mrs. Asher, and the rest of the gang gets immunity, you're me included. You're asking too much. And that's the only deal I can cut and stay in one piece. I can try. Okay, you do that. And uh, you get a name. Cruz. Yeah. Listen, I just got off the phone with Rawlings in San Francisco. One of his men just spotted a woman matching the ID of the Canadian woman. Of course, there must be a thousand women fitting that description. But I Where? Still Where? You, uh, somewhere near um, Fishman's Wharf. Did you have a baby with her? No, I'm sorry. I guess I evidently had a couple tour buses pulled up and he lost her in the crowds. Oh, damn it. How long ago? Had it been within the hour, Rollins has his men searching the place right now. Okay, at least we know vaguely where she is. Uh, tell him to keep on it. Right. Thanks, Andrews. No problem. Mr. Asher? What the hell do you think you're doing? I'm doing my job. I told you what your job is tonight. Your first priority is to find the bastard who attacked my wife. Will you relax? I got six men working on your wife's case. I want you on it. I am on it. I've already got an ID on the leader of the gang who vandalized the mural. Then why the hell isn't he here? Because we're tracking him down to bring him in for questioning right now. No, that's now. not good enough, Castillo. Now, you know the neighborhoods. I want you out there. Damn it, this is my wife we're talking about. Asher, I'm sorry about what happened to her. But my baby has been out there somewhere for over four months now. You know where your wife is. You know she's alive. I can't say that about my daughter. And until I can, nothing is going to get in the way of my efforts to bring her home. So why don't you save us both a lot of trouble and get off my back? May I come in? Sure. I didn't expect to see you. 
I'm sorry I slammed the door in your face. So why the change of heart? I've been working very hard to find Adriana. I guess I just needed to know that you really wanted me around. I do. All I've ever really wanted to do is help. You do believe me, don't you? I want to. What is it you came to talk to me about? Well, I'm having these uh, images of Adriana being in Paris. And I've been having them stronger and stronger until I finally saw the house. And it was Cruz's brother. Cruz's brother? Yeah, I know how crazy this sounds. No, go on. Well, his brother and sister-in-law had a baby girl about the same time that Adriana was born. And Cruz called their house, but they weren't home, so we were waiting for them to call us back. And I, I just couldn't wait any longer, so I called. And when the butler answered the phone, I could hear a baby crying in the background. Adriana. Uh, yeah, that's what I thought, but then Cruz had this, and he, he said this proves that the baby couldn't be Adriana. This isn't an original. No. Well, these things can be forged, even. I know. The important thing is the images you're having. And the phone call. What made you make that call at that exact time? I'm not sure. You said something was driving you. Was was there something you couldn't wait any longer to make that call? I want to find my baby. Well, of course you do, but at that particular moment. I don't know. I just felt like I had to call. I felt like I had to call at that moment. Because your baby was calling out to you. That's why you did it. Well, that, that's what I want to think, but Cruz has so many logical reasons for why the baby can't be Adriana. It'll only get in your way. Psychic phenomena has its own rules. I had to learn that myself before I could use my images. Go with what you're feeling, Eden. Pursue your images or you'll lose them. I want to, but I just don't know where to go from here. Are you ready to give up because of a piece of paper? No, I want to find my baby. And she wants you to find her. That's why she told you where she is. You have a gift, Eden. Use it. Cruz doesn't believe me. Cruz has trouble accepting. You have to understand what you're accusing his brother of. He might not ever accept it. You have to go with your feelings. And if you don't use your images, they're going to fade. And you might not ever be this close to Adriana again. Then I guess I have to go. I guess I have to go to Paris by myself. Cruz. Looks like we could be in luck. Where'd you come up with, Michael? I made contact with a kid who's in one of the gangs. He knows who's responsible for the attack on Laura. Where is he? Before he'll make a statement, he wants immunity for himself and everybody else in the gang. I don't make deals with the kid criminals. who hit Laura. Look, Ethan, you can't condemn the entire Don't tell gang. me what I can and cannot do. That kid could have killed my wife. Now, I'll bring in every Hispanic punk from the barrio if I have to before I'll cut a deal with a gang. What? You don't even know it was an Hispanic kid who did this to your wife. Yeah, well, I know it was a Hispanic gang that vandalized the mural. You're not going to go charging into the valley and start playing some kind of Nazi now. You're not going to do that. Well, then you get your friend to uh, change his arrangement with his informant. I will not do that. Asher, you need to back off and cool down about this. All right. I'll do that as soon as you arrest this man for obstructing justice, for aiding and abetting. What the hell are you talking about? He's no longer a priest. The man standing right there can solve this case. Are you going to do your job or not? Andrews, get in here. I want you to take Michael Donnelly to a holding cell to await booking. Do it. Yes, sir. Sorry, Michael. You know, you had me fools. I was actually starting to think you were somebody I could trust. You begged me to understand when you asked me to bend the rules for your daughter. Well, now this is my wife, and I'm doing it by the book, and I'm asking you to understand.
just need to know if this information is correct. Ah, oui. Uh, I delivered the little girl myself. Uh, the Castillos were very happy, and the baby was healthy. And there weren't any problems at all? No, nothing. I don't understand why there's any question. Oh, it's, uh, it's just a mistake. I'm sorry to have bothered you, Dr. Albert. You can't be logical. You have a gift, Eden. Use it. Pursue it. Well, I was, uh, sorry I'm late, but uh, Asher is going crazy. News from San Francisco? Uh, yeah. Um, Rawlings thinks he spotted the lady we're looking for, but then he lost her. At least we've got some kind of reason to believe that she's still around. Let me take that upstairs. Anything new here? No, not really. 